Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this month's May I Scraplift You. We decided over in the May I Scraplift You chat that we would move this to a monthly series as opposed to a weekly series uh, to allow us uh, partly um, to collect and and get ready for the month-long series that we have in May when we do 31 days of May I Scrap Lift You. And also because uh, there's just so, so much going on that uh, uh, doing a weekly series on a regular basis can become a little bit difficult. Although we will be keeping Sketch Sunday on a weekly basis, we will now be doing May I Scrap Lift You on the second Saturday of every month, but we will be adding a new series, and you will see that on the fourth Saturday of this month. So we're looking forward to that. So maybe also a little bit more variety. Anyway, so for this month's May I Scrap Lift You, I'm scrap lifting the lovely, lovely Sue Williams, Susan Williams here on YouTube and Sue Williams over on Facebook. I think I got that right. Did I do that right, Sue? Um, you can find, you, well, first of all, you can see the gorgeous layout that I am scrap lifting right up here in the corner. And Sue created that layout to honor Rebecca from Rebecca Lockhart Scraps and her go-to L-type design, which, as you know, is one of my go-to designs as well. So, Susan is very, very active over in uh, the Facebook, in Rebecca's Facebook group, Becky's Facebook group, Scrap Time with Rebecca Lockhart Scraps. I'll put that down uh, in the description box below, and you can see lots and lots of her gorgeous layouts there. So, what I have now, I'm working with uh, my How to Kill a Kit with Style, and therefore also um, chiming in with Baby Got Scraps for this month. And you know, I got a 6x6 six six paper pad out, the T-Lightful, to go along with the theme a little bit over in the How to Kill a Kit, kill a kit with Style. And I used this lovely paper... I, I just, because I have a photo here, you can see I have a photo of macarons and then some food. Um, so I, I really am so happy to have found this paper because I, I don't have a stamp. I don't have anything else for macarons. I don't know whether I need to remedy that at some point. Anyway, so I have this photo that I definitely want to scrap. And then... I was trying as try could be to get three photos on here and I keep placing them and I just don't like the way it sits. So we're going to go to two photos, definitely the macarons. And now the question is, do I use this photo or do I use this fun photo? I, I like both of them. Let's see. That one sort of brings in maybe a little bit more of the sort of dark charcoal or black color that I have. Whereas this one, hmm, you know what? I think I'm going to use this one. I mean, I'll be doing these photos more than once because I need to do them for um, the family album, for Chloe's album. So you're going to be seeing these come back again. Originally, I thought I would use this because you can see um, Adela posted this one and she tagged Chloe and Julia in it. So originally, I thought I was going to use this one, but you know what? I think this one provides a little bit more contrast. So let's go with that. So you can see here that I've sort of followed the basic design very closely, as I said, with this six by six paper that I just cut in two. And then I use another one to do the little border here. This is a scrap that was in that folder of, of scraps that I showed you. And I did my kit chair along with this little piece of paper. So Sue uses the same paper for her border. I modified it a little bit. And I like that because it brings in a little bit more of the colors from the macarons and this golden yellow, so I do 
quite love that. And then a stamp that I've had forever and ever and ever, but I do, I do use it. I, I've used it before, so it's not that I haven't used it, but this was all the way back from Scraptastic, so June 2015. So I just took Yum and sort of stamped it along everywhere here. And I think, I think that is going to be my title. Now, I, I know Sue has some lovely big letters, but um, I think simply yum. I think it says it all. It describes the photos. You can see what it is. It gets me using my stamps. It brings in the contrasting of the the black color. And I did start with a with a dark gray ink, and it really wasn't showing up enough. So I went in and I got my memento black ink, but went a little bit light with it. And I backed the entire layout. That's when I decided to back the entire layout with my Bella Boulevard besties in uh, graph and dots. And I did that. It's, it's called black, but to me it is much, much more of a... Because I don't think you can have a light black. Can you have light black? I don't think so. So much more of a charcoal color. So that's where we are for now. So let's get these famous photos down finally there we go At that there so my photos are that my photo placement is going to be somewhat different um than sue's but i think you know we're still seeing the sketch uh for sure and and the basic design of the sketch Wait a minute, this goes, yeah, oh my goodness me, I almost put this upside down. There we go, so that, let's bring that up over a little bit. There we go, and let's get that down. All right, so we have the basic design. Uh, we have two photos in cell. I've got my stamping done, so I honestly don't think this is going to need an awful lot more. Now, Sue has a fun little cluster here and a cluster there, so... I got um, my foodie collection out in the How to Kill a Kit with Style, and these are some bits that I have from that. Oh, this might be fun. I might like this. Oh, that. I think I might like that. We don't want that. Oh, that could be cute. All right, let's keep that. Another floral, which is sort of like a tight... Oh, I think that goes perfectly with... Um, sort of like a Paris photo, don't you think? I think that does, and then maybe we could put this one up here. Um, I think I might like that. All right, let's see if there's anything else in here that we can use. Oh my goodness me, how has your year started, my friends? And if you are with us in the either the Rediscover Your Stash January freeze or with us over in Spending Freeze 2.0 for the whole year, how are you doing? My rating, I, we could put that there, uh, although I would not fill that in. I would get them to fill it in, so I'm not so sure. Let's, yum, we have enough of that. The knives and forks, maybe, vino. Uh, we might bring that in, uh, a special meal maybe as well, although I don't know, I don't like the, this color is off. Oddly enough, you see, it's the same color as here, but, and the vino, but I, oh no, you see, the, the vino has a little bit more of the corally, and I find this is a little too orange, it may be the way I printed it. Pasta, no, craving this. Not the right color to go. Geez, a chef hat, casserole. No flour. Some hearts from Nicole Jones. An egg dinner is served, seasoned with love. Might pop that there. Although this would be seasoned. This is not seasoned, but anyway. This was absolutely delicious. Probably, but I sort of don't... I, oh, <laughs> I ate this and loved it. Okay, I think we might put that instead. I kind of like that. And would I maybe put this down here? Maybe. And the wine. 
Okay, that's sort of looking good. All right, I think that sort of looks good. Now, okay, so I do like that. All right, so I'm going to start here by getting this down for sure. Because I definitely want that and I want to nestle it in there. Okay, so let's definitely do that. Let's definitely also put this there so it gives us a little bit of florals. All right. There we go. And then I ate this and loved it. I think I will put up on foam, but I also think I want to maybe get a flare piece in there and I have these gorgeous uh, perspectives that I got out with that's going to go more with the how to kill a kit theme when I when I get when I get to that I might use this little wood button although there's no coffee here now I was thinking here we have adventure this is um, a flare piece from the flare hat, but it was made exclusively for Bramble Fox and the Bramble Fox Summer Kit that we had. So, but I want to do something like that. I might. So, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this up on foam, but just sort of in the corners here. Because then that way I can pop something under it if that's what I want to do. And I think it is what I want to do. So there we go. So I ate this and I loved it. I think we will put there. There we go. And then you see, I think I might pop this right there, Adventure. Like that. What do you think? I think I'm going to leave that for now because I could also pop this one. The colors are quite nice, but I find it a little bit too busy with the florals here. So I think I will put that one back and we'll go definitely with the adventure or the camera. Oh, the camera is nice there and it, it sort of softens everything. So I might put the camera there and then we could bring this adventure down here maybe you know what let's let's do that immediately because i like it so try not to try not to waffle too too much or to faff about there we go i'll be coming back with you too i, I want to bring back the sort of freeze friday because i was mentioning before and asking you how you're getting along with your freeze but i'm going to bring back the freeze friday and then the new series uh, that we're doing is going to be something that will help with, you know, shopping our stash and using our stash. So I do like this. Okay, wait a minute. Now, would I put this sort of like this and bring it over a little bit more and then pop the wine on top? I think so. So I'll put this flat and I'll put the wine bottle up on foam. Ugh. Sometimes these look, oh, let me go, there we go. Sometimes these cartridges, I don't know. Sometimes I get along with it and sometimes I just don't. I love it when it works well. Wait a minute, let's bring that up. I don't, don't want a gap there but I want to see the food okay so there we go and then let's pop this up on foam there we go can I get that like that that's perfect I think yes it is there we go and we will get that so that my clusters and my embellishing is sort of following Sue's lead there we go Oh my goodness me, I'm liking this. I don't, you know, and I'm not sure we're going to need much more, to be honest with you. Now, I've got a couple of the Nicole Jones and I want the gorgeous florals out, so we might add a few of those. Now, do I want to pop the adventure here somewhere? 
maybe somewhere something like that because I don't want it there because that yeah no I don't think so so maybe that might maybe that might be nice let's 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 just think about that or here, here? no 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 I don't like okay so let's just keep this here for a moment and let's see if we want to bring in a couple of Nicole's florals here. Maybe sort of like this and pop this up. That I think, you know what, I think that will finish that off nicely. Maybe I want the yellow here so that the, the wine bottle will stand out a little bit more. I want that, like, and then shall we pop this? Hmm, I'm not sure that. Or oh, wait a minute here. I have the, uh, I have the gray. Or is that too dark? Oh, you know what? I like that. I sort. I like that, my friends. Yeah. All right. So let's let's do that, and then. Let's see if we just pop maybe another bit of florals up here. Let's see, maybe we do a turquoise here as well to just bring in there something like that. Yeah, I think I think I kind of like that, my friend. And I think that will I think that will do it. I mean, the pictures are nice. I've got the stamping, uh, the paper that goes with the theme. So you know, um, often less is more. And and I, I I have to admit that I tend to maybe be a little bit more uh, towards that than the more is more side, which maybe accounts for why I have such. So much gorgeous stash but anyway so see no i don't think i need that so there you go my friends i think that will do it thank you so much for joining me make sure you pop on down below and see everybody who is playing along with may i scrap lift you and we will be back next month so may i scrap lift you will now be the second saturday of every month um Sketch Sunday remains weekly. We will have a new monthly series starting on the fourth Saturday of um, the month, which will be quite fun. It's been something um, Chris Noll and I have been talking about for a while, and a few of our friends are joining us. So, some new goodies, and I will be back soon with sort of a little bit um, of an update. Maybe by the time you actually see this, I might have done it, because I'm pre-recording this uh, more than a week well, no, not more than a week, a week ahead, roughly, as in theory I was going to be late uh, had we continued with the weekly series. Anyway, I will see you back here very, very soon, my friends. Thank you for being with me. Pop on down below to, uh, to my friends, and have a wonderful, scrappy day. Bye for now.